review of the Lizard Bell Radio Kid. Hi everyone, I'm just going to do a short review on this radio I bought off eBay of a bloke actually, I do know him and uh, I met him a couple of times and he's a wonderful uh, person and I could highly recommend him buying um, your radio kits from him actually. This one he sold me is a single valve radio receiver. Um, you can buy this in various forms. You can buy it without this handboard and just buy this as a separate unit and you would actually tune it just with this small micro variable capacitor there. Um, but that would only give you a limited range. <coughs> if you want to extend the system a little bit further, you can buy this board as well as a part of the kit which will extend the frequency range quite a lot which I can show you in a minute. Um, I highly recommend actually buying it with this board so you can actually have a little bit more selection of bands when you're actually tuning this this small little radio. Um, also when you come with the kit you got, um, you'll come with standard with one of these little um, high impedance um, headphones to run it. You have to use one of these on laundry headphones phones won't work and what you can buy as another little optional as well is a speaker as you can see I'd use this one <laughs> with a, a tiny small amplifier um, um, he sells all these on his eBay store so you can buy it as a complete kit and it's not overly priced so um, it, it's just well buy the complete kit while you're about it um, I do use this nearly every night by the way I got it by my bedside table by taking it down at the moment just to do this review. Right, if I just swap you over to my laptop a minute, um, and I can actually just show you this while I've got the minute. This is Trevor's site on eBay, and this is the actual kit here. As you can see, it's um, this is what you don't get the plat with it, but you can make your own. There's the actual kit itself. I can show you um, and you have to actually solder it together but you can see there aren't many real soldering connections there to challenge anyone but um, that's the actual kit um, so anyhow um, I'll swap to my notes a minute when um, when I connect this up you have to put a, a quite a long aerial up with a nerf connection that is pretty well compulsory actually on this set um, I, I got an aerial probably about 30 foot long. It's only a thin piece of wire. Again, Trevor does actually supply a small little aerial to start you off with. <coughs> but um, you can experiment a little bit longer, I found, using different connections. And I got I use different types of earths. One connected, obviously, just to the radiator to try to dry it. And then try different ones out to try different receptions. And... Um, Eventually, you'll get a good result from it. Um, I, I've been, like I said, I've been using this set for the last probably about three months now, and um, I had quite good results with it. Um, the, like I said, you have to, I, you can use an amplifier with it, which comes with this plug. If I can show you, this plug actually goes into here. This little connection here. Um, make sure you get the connections right way around. I can show you on my smartphone when I'm holding it, and that just plugs in there like that. Um, and obviously, make sure you disconnect the headphones if you're using the amp for, and then that will actually run it from your power supply. <coughs> A little bit about the power supply, actually. This is the one I'm using at the moment. Um, it's just an old one I picked up, and but it gives me. A variable power on it 
so I can use it between 3 and 4.5 volts on this um, on, on Trevor's read up this is actually a 6 volt thing but I found it's better if you kept it below that and I, I, I find sometimes I even used a USB connection as a power source and it has worked very well on this board and um, eventually I might take it back to USB and then dispose of this power adapter but at the moment um, because you can alter the power on it as Trevor recommended um, it, it's sometimes a little bit better I will post a little clip of this set working so you can actually see it working and receiving but like I said I'd just like to let you know what it is just give Trevor a little bit of mention actually like I said he has got other radios on here if you click on the other items you will see that on his website on eBay he does actually sell a range of other little receivers that you can buy and um, I will do reviews on those as well but um, I'd just like to say if you want a little cheap receiver to play with um, it, it's re a reasonable cost and um, it's nothing really too drastic like I said the price of this board without the tuning compact without the tuning board what I just showed you is 13 pounds so it's not so bad okay I hope you enjoyed this little review and thank you for watching.